knot. And today we're gonna tie your own coastal candy cane. We also call these captain's candy canes. So your instructions may say one or the other. So we're gonna start with two six foot, six inch long pieces of cotton cord. Let's go ahead for the sake of instructions, we're gonna tie a red and white one first, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find the center of the red cord, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna make an S. Now I know that doesn't sound logical, but once you see it, I think you're gonna understand. So from the center, let's take about two inches and let's fold this thing so it looks like an S. And then we wanna put the top cord off to the right, bottom cord off to the left. And it doesn't have to be exact, okay? It could be up to one or two inches difference in the overall length, we can fix that later. So then we're gonna take the dead center of your white piece of cord, okay? And we wanna lay that center right over this S. Okay? All right. Now, working from the top, We want to bring the bitter end of that white piece under, under, and up through this loop that you see in the red, okay? And then pull the slack. Don't crank on it. Don't tug too hard on it. Just get it to where you can see things are close together. Now on the other side, we want to do the same thing. Let's pull the bitter end of that white cord under, under the bottom of your S, loop and up through that loop. And pardon my fingers, I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, but I've got to hold that thing down. Okay, pull up your slack. All right, so now you really have two intersecting S's. Can you see it? There's your original S and here's your white S that threads through. Now we need to tension this up. We need to tighten it. Throughout the course of doing your candy cane, never do a real hard forced tightening. We, it's gonna be patience. You're gonna learn terrific patience in this project. So just go around all four sides, tightening it up little at a time, okay? So you've got a pretty compact little square. Now turn it over. Balance and even. We want to have just a nice little square. And you don't want to tighten this so tight that there's no hole in the middle because we're going to use this channel to insert the wire that helps hold the candy cane shape. So once you get started and you get that where you want, then we'll move on. Okay, guys, so now you've got this start where you want it. And I will warn you, that was the hardest part of the whole thing. I promise. Okay, so now we're going to actually start crowning. Now, it doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed, if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. What does matter is that you go the same direction through the entire course of the project and that you keep your tension even. If it's a looser crown, that's okay, but they all need to be similar. And you'll see what I mean as we go through, okay? So think of your project as the hands of a clock, okay? You've got a 12 o'clock, a three o'clock, a six o'clock, and a nine o'clock. Now I always go clockwise and I always start at nine. So I'm gonna take my nine o'clock cord and I'm gonna lay it across my 12 o'clock, okay? I'm gonna take my 12 o'clock cord and I'm gonna lay it across both that are over at three. The initial three o'clock, right? The one that's been over here that we haven't touched yet, I'm gonna lay it across See that S? And it becomes your nine. Then the one you haven't touched yet, the one coming out of the center of the knot, right? It's gonna go over, over, under, and through. And now again, patience, we're gonna tighten this slowly. I'm sorry if my hands, my arms get in the way as we're doing this. Now here's a mistake that a lot of folks make. They're trying to keep this thing flat. We're gonna build up. We're gonna stack this knot, one on top of the other, okay? So I pick mine up and keep that gentle tightening patience, a little bit at a time, 
balanced and even and keeping a hole in the center, we're going to need that channel. Okay, so there's your first stacked crown. Okay, guys, you've got that second crown stacked. I'm going to show you again just to reinforce that you did the right thing, but I'm sure you guys are all naturals at this. So I'm going to take my nine o'clock cord. I'm going to lay it across my 12. Bring my 12 down across these two. The cord I have not touched on my right hand side, my three o'clock, my original three o'clock comes over, becomes my new nine. And the last cord that I've not touched is going to go over, over, under, going through that loop. Okay, there's those S's again. And gently, slowly tighten that. And remember, you're not going flat, you're stacking. You're stacking your little square, leaving a channel in the center. Tension is even. And now you've got three high, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more and I'll be right back. So I have actually crowned five times, okay? And I've got just, my, I have a little candy cane nib at this point. So take one of the pieces of your wire, okay? And we're gonna wriggle that down through the channel, okay? Now, when I first started tying these, I waited until I got a, a peppermint stick done and it's just too stinking hard to wiggle that down through. It might work for you, but I have found tying the majority of the cane over the wire actually saves you a step. All right guys, same step that you did without the wire obstruction, only we're just gonna do it around the wire, okay? So you can see that I'm holding this in my hand now and actually you're gonna need to at this point because it's not, it's not gonna lay right now that you've actually got part of the candy cane, the peppermint done. So same theory, okay? So I'm gonna take my nine o'clock. It's gonna go across my 12. 12 comes down across both that are on the right-hand side. My original three comes over these two red pieces and my original six is gonna go over, over, and down through. I'm gonna take my time, slowly tightening these one strand at a time. and tighten that around the wire. Okay, let's do that again. So again, same, same principle. Here's my nine o'clock, goes over my 12. 12 comes down across, my original three comes and becomes the new nine, my original six, the one you haven't touched yet, over, over, and down through the loop. Now, when you're tightening, here's another knot tires trick. Don't pull from, from direct right and direct left. Go, go around the knot. And what I mean is, let's start here, then we'll tighten this one. Go around the wire, go in a circle. Because what folks have a tendency to do is to use both hands and do this. It's gonna pull your knot out of shape, okay? One at a time, patiently, around the clock. Okay. Hey guys, all right, so by now you've got this whole crowning thing down to a science, right? I'm sure you do. You wanna to continue to crown until you get to the top of your wire or until you have two inches left on your shortest piece of cord. Now, as you're moving through this, if your cord pieces are not exactly the same length, that's okay. All right, just has to be close because we're gonna need two inches on your shortest piece to finish your cane. Okay, Let's just keep working around like so. Go ahead and keep crowning and we'll check back in with you towards the end. At this point, we've got this great little peppermint stick. All right, so I wanna, I've got a little bit of wire showing on mine. I wanna do one last crown and this one I want to tighten pretty hard. I want to close the end of my candy cane, okay? So still kind of going around the circle, but I'm really going to pull on this one. I don't have to worry about leaving that channel or tying it around the wire. I kind of want to close that end, okay? 
So now we're ready to back splice. Okay, so your your chords, the last four, they kind of are naturally, if you were gonna, you know, smooth them back against the peppermint stick, they kind of naturally want to lay. All right, and what we're gonna do next is called back splicing. Now, if you're not tired, maybe you have a Swedish fig. And if this is, you're really enjoying yourself today and you wanna get into knot tying, I strongly encourage you to invest in one of these. Uh, the channeled groove, oh my gosh, it just, it would make so many knot tying projects easy. But what I bet you do have laying around is a pen. Okay, so let's take the cap off of our Bic and we're gonna back splice this red one first coming down next to this white channel and pulling it through this red knot. So I wanna open that up, okay? Crank on it a little bit, make yourself a channel, okay? When you pull your pen cap out, you can kind of see that you've made a, a hole, right? So then we wanna feed that through. Now, you've also been tying with this cord now for a little bit, so maybe your end has gotten opened a little bit or looser Here's another great knot tires trick. Grab a piece of scotch tape, clear transparent tape, and tighten this end up and lengthen it a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna twist the cord as I do this. And basically what you're doing, guys, is you're, you're making a little lacing needle for yourself, okay? This is gonna be stiffer, it's gonna be thinner, and you're gonna be able to feed this end then right through the channel that you opened up, okay? Pull that down. Now again, don't crank too hard yet. You know, we wanna get it there. Maybe you wanna go back to your pen cap and make sure that this is laying nicely. Maybe you need to twist the cord a little bit to tighten it up, clear up to where it's laying, okay? And then pull down on that. All right, guys, so let's do the next one, okay? See how this white one is coming out of the, the crown? It wants to lay right here. So I'm gonna put it through this white one right here. I've got my pen cap. And I'll tell you, I did go ahead and put some scotch tape on my ends because you know what? Life's too short to fight with bad cord. <laughs> Open yourself up a little channel. Gotta kind of work it, right? There's my hole. I've taped this off longer, so I've got a stiffer, basically a lacing needle, no kidding, and pull that through, okay? There's two and just continue around until all four of your pieces have been back spliced, okay? So now go around one more time, give them a good tug, seat them down in there, okay? And now we're just gonna cut them off and get as close as you can. Don't stick your needle points all the way down in, but trim them as close as you can. I just kind of put my cutting edge there, pull on the piece that I'm cutting off, and we're just gonna go around and we're gonna trim all these off. Okay. So now it's time to actually form your candy cane from your peppermint stick. Another very high-tech tool that we're using, a lip balm. It's the perfect size. Maybe you've got a dowel rod or even the post of a director's chair, anything round and wooden. So you wanna lay whatever you're forming around and you can freehand this too, guys. Um, I'm not good at that. So I need, a little, I need a little round something. Put the lip balm, oh, I'm sorry, not tires tip. We wanna go back, not to your back spliced end, but to your starting end. That's the top of the cane to bend. That's what your wire's in there for. Bend it around. And there's the shape of your cane. Now, let's go revisit your back splice end. Let's just put a little dab of glue. I like Fabric Fusion. Elmer's glue works just fine. So just a little dab on your fuzzy ends where you cut them off. just to make sure that they don't really fray. And in the event that it was gonna get some high traffic use, it'll make sure it doesn't work back through. Give your glue a little bit time to dry, or if you're careful, go ahead and, and finish. What's left? 
Well, maybe we want to decorate our little candy cane. How about just some gross green ribbon? Um, maybe a nice contrasting color. Put a little bow on it. Maybe you like it just the way it is and you want to insert a hanger. If you have a piece of leftover cord long enough, just untwist. Maybe that's thick enough. Get your, ball, your Bic pen back out, open up one of these, and maybe just hang a hanger. And there you go, guys. From here on out, it's just going to be however you want to finish and decorate. These make great package ties, Christmas tree ornaments. How about on a driftwood Christmas tree? Thanks for joining Beagle Bay Knotworks. We hope you enjoy tying your coastal candy canes, and have a Merry Christmas.